Hello, everybody. It's me again, Mr. John. That's right. And uh, we're going to do some Let's Learn English with Mr. John. Yo. So today we're going to think about animals. Animals. Everybody likes animals, even if it's just like it. I'm not going to go there. Everybody likes animals. Let's check it out. So, first of all, we're going to look at this. Right, we're going to listen to ABC Zoo. Right, let's all try and think of an animal for each letter. Example A. Who can think of an animal that begins? With A, the name of an animal that begins with A. That's right, antelope. What about B? Let's think of a name of an animal that begins with B. Bird, that's right, birds or buffalo. What about an animal that begins with C? That's right, crocodile or cat. No, cookie's not an animal. That's a biscuit. Right, anyway, what we're going to do, let's listen to the story. Here we go. Oh, crikey, what's it's happening? It's a special day at the ABC Zoo. ABC Zoo. A new animal is here. What's it? It's a gorilla from Africa. She needs a home. Mmm. Zorilla A. Okay, let's find you a home. Stinky. Let's see. An aardvark, a boa constrictor, a coyote, and a duck built platypus. The Zorilla doesn't go here. Let's see. An emu, a flamingo, a giraffe, and a hyena. The Zorilla doesn't go here. Let's see, an impala, a jellyfish, a koala, and a lemur. The gorilla doesn't go here. Let's see, a meerkat, a narwhal, an orangutan, and a puma. The gorilla doesn't go here. Let's see, a quetzal, a rhea, a sloth, and a tarantula. The gorilla doesn't go here. Let's see. An umbrella bird, a vulture, and a walrus. The gorilla doesn't go here. Let's see. A xenop, a yak, a gorilla. Here's your home. Sorry, boys. So there we go, looking at those, uh, looking at that video, I think the Zorilla must be an African skunk. Phew. Right. <clears throat> uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to read about some animals. Let's have a look. Right, here we are. Right, so let's look what we've got here. It's a polar bear. Polar bears are very big. They weigh one, a, a, a big male can weigh a thousand kilograms. And they're the biggest land carnivore. They eat meat. And this is a zebra. They've got black and white stripes. I mean, even Africa. Right, so wait a minute, we're going to have to stop there in a minute. Yo, uh, right, so we're going to read about animals. Let's have a look. So, uh, this is a polar bear. This is a zebra. This is a box jellyfish. This is a mimic octopus. This is a hummingbird. Right, let's read about them, right? So, the polar bear. Polar bears have a good sense of smell. 
they can smell fish under the ice from far away. Mm, interesting. They are very strong and hungry. And they can smash open ice blocks to catch fish and seals. They eat seals as well. They like a good seal for breakfast. Let's have a look at this. It's an octopus, but it can mimic other animals, which means it can change its shape and color to look like something else. The mimic octopus isn't colorful, oh, oh, but it can change its color and shape. Oh, it can look like a jellyfish, mm, a snake, Ooh. or 15 different animals. Ooh. I like birds, I gotta be honest. Uh, so, I was coming home from Tatum and I saw two eagles. Was it yesterday or the day before? I think it was Thursday. I saw two eagles in ta on the way home from Tatum, very big. Anyway, this bird is very small. A hummingbird is one of the smallest and lightest birds. It is lighter than a coin and it can fly backwards. Oh, fly backwards. I have trouble walking backwards. That's pretty impressive being able to fly backwards. Crikey Moses. Zebra, bit of a boring animal, really, I suppose. I don't know. Bit boring. Lion food. Lions like to eat zebras and uh, leopards and cheetahs and stuff. They can catch them. Yum, 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 yum. Zebras are not colorful. Hmm. And they can't change color or shape, like me. I can't change my color or my shape. But every zebra stripes are different. Oh, just like your fingerprints. Like nobody's fingerprints are the same, right? That's how the police can catch us. Wasn't me, cop, wasn't me, gov. Bang the rights, we got your fingerprints. Your nick, your nick, chappy. Come with us. You're going down the clink. Right, so here we are. Let's look at this. Oh, crikey, it's a box jellyfish. Actually, very dangerous. You will die. If that stings you, you will die. If you don't die, you'll be maimed. Dangerous. A box jellyfish has 24 eyes. It is shaped like a box. There you go, shaped like a box. So what you can do, you can read this on your own or with mummy and daddy or your brother or your sister or your auntie or your uncle or grandma or grandpa or even maybe some of you are having the special teacher lessons. You can read it with your teacher and you can find out the answer to the five questions that are attached to this video. Yo, so um, I'll see you again next time. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. See you next time. Yo.